Happy Halloween. How is everybody doing? Okay, make sure when you pop on that you are clicking that share button in the bottom left hand corner. And then all the makeup that I am going to use is gonna be available right there in the comments. So if you need anything, there you go. Hi Joanne, how are you? All right, so I'm gonna take a moment and go ahead and share this to my pages. I have a beauty page called Beauty by Rhea Hope. Um, and then I also have a beauty group called the same thing. And then I have a, um, like a blog page that is just called Rhea Hope. So make sure you're following all three. And did you know, I don't know if you guys knew this, because I didn't know this until recently. Um, if you, after I'm done live, you may be able to do it while I'm live. I'm not hundred percent sure. After I'm done live, if you press, I think there's three little dots at the top hand corner. Um, you can set like a setting on there that will alert you when I'm live. It's, it says something like, um, uh, like set notifications on or something like that. Let me see if I can do it on live. Turn notification, I don't know. I don't think I could do it from my iPad. Um, but after I get off live, even if you go like to an older live, um, I saw that option on there. So if you were like, I never get notified or like I'm always missing out or whatever, make sure you turn the notifications on. Yes, that's what it says. Okay, perfect, Susan, thank you. So there is three little dots. So it's three little dots and then you, and then it says that. I didn't know that until like super like the day before yesterday when I was like messing around with my settings and then I was like, oh, cool. Thank you. This ring is from Lavender Blue. You can search her on Instagram. Use my code Raya20 to save money. And then my earrings are from 1110 Leather. 11 like right out the word 11 and then 10 like the number and then leather. All one word. And then you can use my code Raya15 on her site to save some money. Yeah, awesome, Rebecca. Mm -mm. Okay, dokie. So, although it's Halloween, we're not gonna be doing no like dark, spooky, um, whatchamacallit, makeup look. We're just gonna do kind of like, I don't know, like a bronzier, I don't know, you'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna take this off because I cannot function with things on my ring finger. All right, so first things first, I just opened a new color corrector. That's why it's like spewed all over the place. So we'll start there. And then my hair is a mess because um, after I get off this live, I'm gonna pop right back on, on my blog page, Raya Hope, and I'm gonna go live with a little pixie tutorial. So make sure you pop over there after this live and check it out. And if you want any details on the rest of my outfit or jewelry or anything, make sure you're follow, following me over on Instagram. Just search Raya Hope on Instagram and I'll be over there. Aw, thanks. Aw, you guys are so sweet, thank you. And then as always, if you wanna be color matched or have any questions or need any help picking out any makeup, make sure that you message me. You'll just tap on my, my nose. A window will pop up from the bottom and you can just tap on my name, Rhea Coleman, and you can shoot me a message. And I would love to help. And as a reminder, the sales on the collections, um, especially the Set to Stun collection, thanks Judy, um, the Set to Stun collection, today is the last day they are an additional 15% off, which is huge savings, like gigantic. So make sure you snag that if you haven't already done so, if you've been meaning to do so, make sure you do it ASAP. It comes with basically a full face of makeup. It's such a good deal. Oh, thanks Ashley. So this was a Maybelline color corrector in the shade yellow and then now I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal color corrector in the shade orange. And I put these on top of one another to um, kind of cancel out discoloration cancel out dark circles. If you have like really bad um, like veins around your eyes, you could absolutely use this. And then 
yeah, so it just kind of brightens up my under eye, adds a little more coverage, and cancels out any dark circles. What color are you doing today? I'm going to be doing kind of a bronzy eye, one of my favorite bronzy eyes. It's so easy, like so easy, it's crazy. Um, and then I'm going to be doing kind of a nude lip, like a darker nude lip. So I know sometimes a lot of nude lips on people, like, will wash them out. This one is more dark, so if the lighter nudes wash you out, you'll love this one. It's one of my favorites too. And so weird because it, like it's the same formula as the other ones, but for some reason this color has like an incredible hold, like eat a hamburger and it's gonna stay hold and it's not like, it's not a lip stain. It's crazy, it's crazy. All right, so now our color correctors are on. Now we can do our coverage. Maybe what's your mom? Remind me what your mom was using that got rid of her Um, The Uplift Beauty Serum and the Time Correcting Night Cream. Uh, but I love the unique liners. Awesome. I'm so glad, CJ. And it's okay, it's okay to use other brands. Like, I use other brands. Like, not everyone fits into one box. You know what I mean? And that's what I love about Unique is it can go hand in hand with other products and... Like you can stack, you know what I mean? There's no like, there's no rule in makeup. You know, I'm, even though I'm a unique presenter and I should be like, use unique. I, I will recommend what works. You know what I mean? What works for you. So have no fear. Yes, both. So she uses the Uplift Beauty Serum, so do I, on our under eyes at night. And then we take the time correcting night cream and we put it everywhere else and then you go to sleep. And it literally nourishes your skin so much, healing those dark circles, healing the under eye creases, and it really evens out your complexion. So if you struggle with those things, um, that'll be a great option for you. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Beauty Floss Complexion Enhancer. This is the shade Bisque. And then I'm like almost out, so hopefully we can squeeze a little bit out of this one. We're gonna take, you might have to tip it over. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna take the Liquid Touch Foundation, there we go, in the shade Lace. I was using it for like swatching and then my sister came over and we were using it on her and it, I like flew through this bottle real quick. <laughs> I'm not doing a Halloween makeup, um, today just like kind of a i don't it's funny we don't dress me and my husband we don't dress up on halloween because we're like chasing after the kids so <laughs> we dress up for like my mom's holiday party she has every year and then on halloween it's just for me and my husband it's just an ordinary day <laughs> but my kids they dress up and we take them trick-or-treating in our neighborhood and then we take them trick-or-treating in my husband's grandma's neighborhood which is just a few minutes away so I'm literally chasing them up and down the street <laughs> until probably, you know, nine o'clock tonight. Hi Kay, how are you? Okay, so now I'm taking, like I said, the Beauty Floss Complexion Enhancer. Oh, this is the shade Honey. I thought I was using Bisque. Honey, uh, that's why it's a little bit darker. And then we're taking the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace and we mix those two together. And now we're just applying it with the powder concealer brush. And we are just gonna move this all over our skin and just buff it in using the powder concealer brush and I love applying my foundation with this brush. It applies it so evenly and so streakless. I know some people have trouble like feeling or looking cakey and honestly it's it could be a, a few reasons why you would feel that way. Not about this particular brand but just in makeup in general. So if you feel that you kind of go cakey with makeup or you feel heavy Two things. One, make sure that you're using this Touch Bold setting spray and or the Glorious Face Primer. It's in my case or else I pull it out. Use those two things before your makeup. That's going to ensure that your foundation is sitting on top of an even surface and not seeping into your fine lines, seeping into your pores, and really just kind of clumping together. Because if your makeup, your foundation is not sitting on top of a primer, it's going to kind of like move around and it's going to seep into things and it's just not going to look as clean. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Hi, Ava. Feel better. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is making sure that you are applying it super evenly. And this brush definitely does. 
Look how flawless. And look at the coverage. I had some pretty angry blemishes over here. And poof, gone. Don't mind the trash truck outside. <laughs> Happy Halloween, how is everybody? What's everyone doing tonight? Are you staying home to answer the door? Or are you chasing children up and down the street like I am? <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Make sure you click that share button in the bottom left hand corner when you pop on. All right, so that was like one layer. I did probably, I don't know, like three-ish drops of my Liquid Touch foundation. I'm like tipping it over, getting it out of the, the case, case the bottle. Hello. And this is kind of a cool way to like put it on too because it's like shaking up the mineral based makeup because it is mineral based. So make sure that you're shaking your bottle really well before you're applying your foundation. So if it goes on like kind of watery, you haven't shaken it up enough. So make sure you shake, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, and then shake it out. <laughs> nice. Awesome, awesome. Who has not yet grabbed that set to sun collection? Who needs it? Seriously, the best deal. You're gonna get the Liquid Touch Foundation. You get the setting powder or setting spray. I believe you get the primer. You get, uh, I think the bronzer and a highlight. I could be saying too many things, but you know, you get a ton of product. Oh no, no rain. Nice, that actually sounds really nice. Staying home, watching scary movies, although I do not like scary movies. Oh, we're bound trick or treating years. Oh, nice. My kids are dressing up and we are gonna trick or treat our street and then we're gonna go to my husband's grandma's neighborhood and she always has like a little Halloween. It's not even a party, it's just like all the family goes there and she makes her famous chili really good but it is I see kind of a funny story my husband and I first started dating not first started dating we had been dating for a while it was my first like Halloween with his family and his, like I said his grandma makes this chili and I was I was eight months pregnant seven months pregnant one of those and that <laughs> that chili was so spicy I had to call out sick to work the next day <laughs> it was so bad. So not every year his whole family gives me so much crap about eating the chili. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yes, chili is, chili must be just like a, a Halloween thing. All right, so we're just gonna make sure this is really blended in evenly. And you guys, I love this coverage. We're doing our makeup right now and my makeup will look flawless until the end of the night. Even with chasing two toddlers around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what we do too. Yeah, all the family goes over to her house and we all have chili dinner together. And then um, then we take the kids like out in a group, which I don't know how long that's gonna last because my son is four, he turns five in January and he's already like over it. Not over trick-or-treating, but over trick-or-treating as a group. He's like, they take forever. <laughs> they walk too slow. It's kind of funny. Okay, oops, I'm like what am I doing? All right, we're gonna take the same coverage. So Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace. I'm just taking what was over left on my little squirter bottle thingy. And now we're gonna take the Blending Bud. I'm gonna start with just the Liquid Touch Foundation on my under eye. And then if we need more coverage, we'll add the BB cream, but I don't think we will. Set to sun, liquid foundation, bronzer, translucent setting powder or setting spray, face primer, and luminizer, you guys. That's insane. And I think it's on sale for $139. It's normally like $136. And it's normally like $180. And that's with the discount. But if you were to buy that like individually, you'd be spending 45% more money. It's insane how much money you're saving. So if you're like, oh, I really wanna try the makeup, but I don't know where to start, or I feel overwhelmed, or 
you know, I want this, I always get this message. I want the starter pack. That is the starter pack right there, the set to stun collection. And like I said, it is going off of sale. It's not gonna be an additional 15% off at midnight tonight. So make sure you snag it. And you get a free purse and it looks like a Chanel purse. It's black with little gold accents to it. It's really, really pretty. I don't know how to stop your mascara from smearing smudging. I did get the waterproof afterwards, so it gives me hair. Pretty nice. Um, I would switch over to the, uh, the 3D Fire Mascara. If it must mean that you have like oily eyelids, another thing, or like oily skin, if it's still smudging, um, Rekka, shoot me a message. But um, another thing that would help is spray your face down, including your eyes, with the setting spray before you go in with your mascara. All right, so I'm using the blending bud to blend in the foundation over the color corrector and just kind of going everywhere else around my face because when you're using the blending bud on top of what you've already done with the brush, it's really ensuring that you're packing your makeup into place rather than, excuse me, rather than just like buffing it on top. It's going to ensure that it's not going to crease and that it's going to um, like minimize your pores. And just keep it in place so if you struggle with having your makeup look creasy or I don't know moving around applying with a blending bud really really helps another really great tip um, if you have oily skin oily skin but if you have dry skin <clears throat> using the blending buds act adds this like very light touch of moisture into your foundation as you're applying it so that's gonna really help if your 3D fiber dries out because the gel is like a thicker gel, you can always spray it with your rose water and that will bring it back to life. Another thing too is, it's kind of weird, but if you sit on it, like put it under your thigh while you're doing your makeup, it warms up the gel, which makes it thinner so you can apply it more easily. So sometimes, especially with the older formula for some reason, um, the 3D fiber mascara on the gel would just be a little more thicker, a little harder. Um, so I used to put it under my thigh to warm it up. So by the time I got to my eyes, it was already kind of, um, a little bit looser. So that's another little tip, tips and tricks. I clean my brushes once a week. Okay. So now we're taking the skin perfecting concealer in the shade organza. This is going to be one shade lighter than what I've been using. And we are going to pop that in kind of a V shape on our under eye. This is going to add a little more coverage and it's going to help to brighten up our under eye. Now you can go like one shade lower than your foundation or you could do the same shade. I don't go any more than one because I don't want like super bright under eyes. But if, you, if you're if you done with your makeup and you just feel like you need some pizzazz, like some, 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 um, you can always go down in a shade in your concealer and that will help. Okay, so concealer on. And then again, I'm gonna Go over all these like natural creases that I get from my expressions because once we set it with the setting powder like that's all she wrote ladies and gentlemen so we are going to make sure everything is like perfect before we set it oh that's a really good idea too yeah you just want to kind of warm it up if if you're having trouble with that okay I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender this is from like Ulta I like it because there's just a flat side of it. And then I'm going to spray with the setting spray. No, never use Lime Life. Um, and then I'm going to take the Touch Behold setting powder on my brush. I'm going to grab a little bit more actually. And I'm going to go over my concealer with this. Now I have really oily skin naturally. So... I kind of go over everywhere with this and what this is doing is it's going to soak up the natural oils in my skin. So it's going to ensure that my foundation stays in a place. I'm using the Liquid Touch foundation <clears throat> mixed with the BB Flaws Complexion Enhancer for my foundation. And then I also have on the Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza on my under eye right now. And then I'm now taking the Touch Behold Setting Powder in the shade, or not, it's not a shade, it's translucent, my bad. Okay, so we're just going to continue to pop this on all over. 
And like I said, this is, hello, Lisa. This is gonna ensure that our makeup stays in a place and that it's gonna prevent creasing. It's also gonna help to soak up any natural oils. So, it don't move. No moving. All right, so now we're gonna take just a fan brush and just fan this away. Just like so. And this is only gonna leave a very like light layer over our foundation so we don't feel all powdery. Okay, and that is it. And if you have dry skin, you can still use this method, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna take like the cap and you're gonna wanna take a, like a fluffy smaller brush like this and kind of scoop up any powder and just very lightly um, apply it that way. That's gonna really help still get the same effect with setting your concealer, setting your foundation, getting like a full, more a more full and a more matte foundation coverage, um, but it's also gonna help to prevent anything from moving around as well. All right, so I'm gonna take my pressed powder and this is in the shade Taffeta. I want my hair to feel like yours. Oh, thanks. Awesome. I'm super excited for you. You'll love it. All right, so now we're going to take our pressed powder in the shade Taffeta. Happy Halloween, Samantha. And we are just going to set the rest of our face. I'm using this gigantic kabuki brush. I'll give you guys the link to this after I get off. But I really love applying my pressed powder with a kabuki brush because it's going to apply it a lot more airy than applying it with like a sponge or a smaller brush would. Happy Halloween. Can you believe like tomorrow's November? So crazy. It's flying. All right, so we're just literally gonna set everything all over our face, including our neck. This is gonna give us more of a full coverage. And like I said, it's also gonna hold everything in place. So if you do have really dry skin, I would skip the settings, the setting powder and just go straight in with the press powder. So you were on just to make sure it was you and she wants this one. Oh yeah, what's your question, Kelly? Happy Halloween, ladies, and welcome. Okay, so I always tell you guys, <laughs> if I was stuck on a desert island and I could bring one piece of makeup, this would be it. The coverage is seriously insane. It's like a medium coverage by itself. When you pair it on top of any kind of liquid, it's going to give you a full coverage. This is like the porcelain doll finish. It literally gives you this amazing, like flawless finish. It's not cakey, it's not heavy, it's super airy, it's super like silky, and it just looks incredible. So if you make sure that everyone, even if you have dry skin, even if you have mature skin, that you are always topping your liquid, even if it's a BB cream or a cream with a pressed powder. We have two choices, we have a, the unique press powder and then we have the mineral touch press powder. This is the mineral touch. The other one is just kind of a thicker consistency, kind of more similar to Mac. Um, but in my opinion, they're more yellow undertone and my undertone is more like pink and neutral. So taffeta is like perfect, but always make sure that you're messaging me. Um, a selfie or a picture before you purchase any of the products that are come in shades so I can always give you my opinion because I've used every color I do weddings um, just locally and so I've seen this makeup on different skin tones different skin types so I can give you the best like you know recommendation for your skin type and like your skin tone and all of that so make sure you're messaging me to be color matched no these uh, oh yes Lisa Leonard uh, rings yeah yeah I love that brush Thick and long hair. Also have a problem with holding curls, so what would you recommend? I Kelly, I would do the, I'm actually gonna do a tutorial next um, using this flat iron, but I, how long's your hair, actually? Because if you have medium to short length, the Larev is amazing for uh, sh uh, hard to curl hair. If you have longer hair, get the La Gloss. That's amazing. Okay, so this brush, that brush, I'll give you guys the link too, it's from Ulta. And then this brush is from It Cosmetics, and again, I'll give you the link. So today it's Halloween, so I want to look a little more done up than maybe my every single day. So I'm gonna show you my favorite thing to contour with. I know I always say it's my beach from bronzer, but we're gonna use that too for bronzing. But for straight up contouring, 
my little trick, my little secret, is I take the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder in the shade Chenille. So this is probably like five or six skin tones like above mine or below mine, so darker. But it, seriously, is the easiest thing to contour with for powder. It's layering. So Kelly, get the La Gloss flat iron. You'll love it. It's amazing for longer, thicker, harder to curl hair. Okay, so we're gonna take our same brush that we contour with and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Start at the top of your ear, working your way down the hall of your cheek. Oh, you're so sweet, Chris. My pleasure. It's what I'm here for. And we're just literally gonna pop this in the hall of our cheek. I love this one because it's super easy to blend because it's pressed powder. It's like made to blend. And it is not muddy or like too deep looking. I um I was super curious about the Huda. The Huda? Huda? The Huda bronzer that everyone swears about. And I put it on and I look like a muddy mess. I was not a fan. And I was like, oh my gosh, it really reminds me of Chenille but it's too muddy. So this is very, it's way more natural, way easier to use. So if you want a matte bronzer, that's super easy to use and not too much, not too muddy, very more natural, but darker, grab the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder in the shade Chenille. Hi, Kendra. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing yeah, you could use it to curl. It's going to be a one and a half inch plate rather than a one inch plate. So you're going to get a little bit uh, looser curls with that. If you want more thicker curls, then get the little rev. All right, so same thing over here. Top of the ear, working way down the hall of your cheek. And this is really just going to kind of give us a more bolder contour and make us look a little more done up. The Kabuki brush is not on Unique. I will give you guys the link to it after I get off. I tell you what it's called, but then you're gonna go buy it and I wanna give you guys my link because I only get credit if you shop from my links. And although this seems all fun and games, which it is, this is my full-time job playing with makeup. So I seriously cannot express to you guys enough how much your orders and your views and your likes and your comments and your shares mean to me. It literally puts food on my table. So thank you seriously so much. Okay. And I know there's so many unique girls out there that you could choose to shop from. So I can't express to you guys enough how much it means to me picking, picking me. All right. So that was the Touch Mineral Press Powder in the shade Chenille. And now we're going to go in with the Beach from Bronzer in the shade Hermosa. And this is red undertoned but it's so pretty. It's not enough red that you feel like too pink. You know what I mean? It's perfect. So on an everyday basis, I would just use this for contouring. But like I said, it's Halloween, so let's, let's get a little more done up. But see how gorgeous that is? Just the pressed powder in the shade Chenille. It's so natural. Even if you were just done with that, you don't want bronzer, that would be enough. Like how gorgeous is that? It's not muddy. It's not too deep or too dark. It really just carves out your complexion and really warms up your skin. The pressed powder, this is a Kabuki brush. I'll give you guys the link to this when I get off. I promise, promise. All right, so now Beach From Bronzer on top of that, we're just gonna go right on top and this is gonna warm up our skin. You'll see the difference here in a second. It's gonna warm it up, giving it more of a sun-kissed glow. And like I said, I'll sometimes use this by itself but we're doing a little more done up today. So we're just gonna kind of do little circles in our um, temples and then I'd like bring it together because I don't want it to be like, I got two horns on my, my face. All right, same thing over here. Go around the jaw, carve out that supermodel jaw, supermodel. And then I'll take the bronzer down to just kind of Warm up our skin, make everything match. Hello, ladies, welcome. Welcome to the show. Um, and then this brush, I'll give you guys the link to this as well, don't worry. And then do you see the difference? See how much more like warmer this side is than just like contour? So it really warms it up and just kind of makes your skin look more sun-kissed. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Sorry, my nose is running. So just like around your cheekbone. Hello, hi. 
All right, and then contour the nose. I just squeeze the brush and run down the sides because wherever you put a darker shade, like a contour or bronzer, is going to recede. Wherever you put something light is going to pop out. So it's really kind of defines your face and gives it more structure. All right. See how much more bolder that is on a more than an everyday basis. So that was a beach from bronzer and Hermosa. And now we are going to add some color to our face. I'm going to use my favorite, the pressed blush in the shade Serene. This is limited edition. So make sure you snag it ASAP before it sells out. I don't know what kind of stock they have, but I'm like so nervous that every time I log on, it's going to be gone. Um, so this is the shade Serene and look at how stunning this is. I love it because you can't overdo it. You can't look too, you're not going to look like a clown because it's not like dark enough of a pink to make you look like that, but it has this really gorgeous natural highlight to it. So it really just brings up your cheekbones, brings up your cheeks. Look at the difference. See how much more like brighter and alive the side of my face looks. See that? And I'm like doing the same smile, but this cheek is like, hello. <laughs> yes, this blush is seriously fantastic. Um, it does come in a darker color as well called Spirited. So if you have a darker complexion than I do, you can grab that shade. Yes, this, yes. Every person that's ever bought this is like, oh, the holy grail of makeup right here. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so we're just gonna keep tapping, and I swear by tapping your blush on, I feel like it gives you more control over where it's going, how much is going there. So if you ever have trouble with like applying your blush where it looks, I don't know, not as natural, try tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then you're gonna put this on the apple of your cheek, sticking closer to your bronzer. All right, now we're looking flawless. All right, I'm gonna take a product that's not by Unique. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and we're just gonna use it to clean up our contour because you want it to sit like right in there. <laughs> yes, angels are singing, exactly. All right, so same thing over here, clean it up. And now if you don't wanna spend way more than it's worth on this product, because I'm not gonna lie, it's way overpriced. Um, you can always do the same thing that we did with the contour, but on the opposite side. So grabbing the Mineral Touch, Mineral Touch Press Powder in the shade Scarlet, and it will give you like the same effect. Oh, yay, awesome. Um, two browns, can we have a shade of blush? Yeah, so if you have darker, uh, skin than I do, grab the shade Spirited. That one's going to give you the same effect, it's just darker. All right, so now I'm going to take the Touch of Mud Luminizer, and this is the Cream to Powder. It's kind of like a stick, just use a super light hand when you use it, and then I'm going to blend that out using the Touch of Mud Luminizer, and this is in the shade Lustrious. This is my fave. This also comes in the Set to Sun collection, you guys. So does the bronzer, so does the foundation. So does the primer, so does the setting powder or setting spray. So seriously, it's such a good deal. So make sure you snag it because like I said, at midnight tonight, it's not going to be an additional 15% off. So set to stun. It's on my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And then it's under uh, sets and collections. Set to stun. And then if you're not sure what color to grab, just message me and I can tell you. New prom. All right, so that was lustrous. Tip our blush. All right, so now we're going to do our brows. Moving right along. Uh, if you guys have any questions, holler them out while I'm here. All right, we're gonna brush out our brows a little bit. Cause we always get foundation. Yes, they are natural, they are mineral based, they are healthy. They're amazing for sensitive skin, and there's a love it guarantee with all of our makeup. So if you don't love anything, if your skin doesn't love anything, um, then you can always return it for your money back. How should I do my makeup? Uh, for what, Taylor? For Halloween? I don't know, that's such a loaded question. There's so many options. All right, so now we're gonna take the brow pencil in the shade medium, and we're just gonna do a straight line up and then we're just gonna do a straight line over until we get to our, our arch, just like this. And then we're gonna bring it right back down into the tail. All right, so same thing on this bottom portion. 
or just kind of connect everything and bring it all together. I am putting on my skin. Yes, for sure. It definitely will give you like a really glowy vibe. That's a really great idea. Yeah, so if you like that really dewy, glowy foundation look, exactly what she said. Put the um, Touch of Mode Luminizer on before your foundation. All right, so same thing. And we're just gonna kind of fill in this area to make it look a little more kind of bold. And you guys, if you're new at drawing on your brows, this product right here, seriously, game changer. So easy to use. Look how dainty this is. It's so dainty. So it gives you these perfect hair-like strokes. And then you just use a light hand. Let the pencil do all the work. We're doing a fall look today. And with the black wig, you could be a witch. You could do like black lipstick and like a smoky eye. Like a deep contour would be pretty. Pretty for a witch. All right, same thing in the front here. All the way to the arch and then you just kind of bring it back down. So easy to use, so fast. And if you don't really have brows, what I would recommend is using the Brow Obsession Palette. That way you won't fly through this pencil. And you could even still grab the pencil and use it to outline your brows and then fill them in using the palette. Oh, thank you, Christy. All right, so we're just gonna make sure this looks, looks good. I love like bold brows. So I always kind of go a little more over the top. But look how easy this is, you guys. We all know how to color in the lines. That's essentially exactly what you're doing. Just outlining and drawing in the lines. Okay, oh, perfect. I went a little crazy on this side, so we'll just clean it up. No, the brand that I'm uh, that I'm selling, the brand that I'm using and that I do sell, it's right here available in my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And the brand is called Unique. Unique. Thank you, Becca. All right, so I'm gonna take my concealer just a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab my Brow Artist brush. And I'm gonna snag just a little bit of this concealer. This is a really great trick, especially if you're new at doing your brows. It's a, it's like a magic erase marker. Just cleans up any little line. Also is really great for highlighting. So if you did get a little too crazy with that arch, you can just kind of go over it and boom, gone. Like it never happened. Happy Halloween to you as well. Can you believe it? I can't believe it's already Halloween. All right, so who's ready for a bronzy eye that's so freaking easy? So easy, it's crazy. I'm gonna close everything. Seriously, so easy. So easy, a caveman could do it. Hi, Lori. But honestly, Honestly, who throws a cupcake? Where's my blending brush? Where you at? I'm gonna use this one. Um, if you have dry skin, I would recommend using the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer. It's a moisturizing coverage with a medium, a medium coverage. And then you could always um, build up that coverage with using a concealer or using the, um, the pressed powder over it. Oh no, am I still frozen? Am I frozen? Am I frozen? I actually wanted to use this one. It's okay, we'll mix them. All right, so I'm gonna use the color Gingerly. It's like my fave. It's kind of like a pumpkin spice brown, and then we're gonna mix it with a stoot, with, which is just kind of a lighter brown. So we're gonna mix them two together. On top of our blending brush by Unique, and then we're just going to very lightly dust this in the crease. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. Seriously, seriously, thank you. Make sure that you share this by clicking that bottom left-hand corner, that little share button helps me out a ton. 
All right, so we're just going to dust this in our crease. Now, if you've hooded eyes, here's a little trick for you. One, blending brush, best friend. Two, you're going to apply your crease color higher up on top of your brow bone and really make a tight, <laughs> tight eye like this. So it's gonna, and keep your eye open. See how my eye is very slightly open? You're going to pop that on top of your um, crease and brow bone. Really force that color up by keeping your eyes open. And this also goes for if you have smaller eyes and you want your eyes to look bigger. Use lighter colors. And you can totally use transition colors like gingerly and astute. They're great um, transition colors. You're so beautiful. Here, let me just push my hair, short hair. Aw, thank you. I'm sure you look fabulous in the cut. Okay, thank you, Lori. And then we're just going to force this color up. And then honestly, use the light, a super light hand. Like the colors are pigmented. They're gonna go on and they're gonna look fabulous. So just use a super light hand and let the let this brush do all the work. Don't need to be pushing. And then if you have a hard time remembering to use a light hand, hold your brush towards the back. It will make you have a light hand. So when I first started with my eyeshadow, I was always finding myself that I was down here or right here. Push your hand back. Just keep a reminder, hand back. It's gonna make you have a light hand, which will help you blend easier, which will help the shadow look a little more natural and softer and not so harsh. All right. Almost finished. I'm gonna go over it with a stoot. All right. And then throw your brush because you're so excited. All right, so now we're gonna take the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Tenacious. I joke around and say that these are idiot proof because anyone can do them. They're so easy. There's no fallout. Sorry. I hate that look when you have like white stuff on your face. You look like you're foaming at the mouth. I'm not foaming. All right. What was I doing? Okay. <laughs> Tenacious Splurge Cream Shadow Brush. Make sure you snag this, especially if you're getting the Splurge Cream Shadows. So you can put these on one of two ways. Two, one of two ways. I think that's the right terminology. You can take the Splurge Cream Shadow. Swipe in like that. Now this is a cream based shadow. So it's okay if it's chunky, it's okay if it looks odd when it comes in the packaging because it can morph and move, it's cream. But when you put it on, look at how stunning this is. It's so soft. If you could like put a cloud in a canister, like that's what these are. It's like putting on a cloud. So you can also, this is why they're idiot proof. You can also put them on Look how gorgeous that color is, first off. You can put them on with your finger. They will not crease. They dry into a powder finish. They will not smudge. And they are pigmented. They are gorgeous. They come in matte and shimmer. They're 26 bucks. And they will last you like a year, <laughs> if not longer. Just when you're done with them, make sure you put the cap on really like hard and store them where they're sitting like this. Um, that'll keep their, prolong their life. But you are just gonna pop this on with your finger. Take it all the way up into the crease, just all over the lid. Is there purple? Yes, Amanda. There's many shades of purple on there. Yes, I always do my crease first and this is why. If I were to do the lid color, then the crease, one, you're gonna get fallout on the lid, which is not gonna be a lot, but it is gonna be enough that's gonna taint the integrity of like the lid color, making it look lighter and not as pigmented. So then you're gonna have to go over the lid again. Um, also, when you do the crease first, see how I do have these inner lines that don't look as soft or look as natural? When you do the crease first and then you go over it with the lid color, I'm taking it right now and I'm smoothing out those inner lines, so. It's just, what is that? Think think smarter, not harder, or whatever that tip is. Um, that is why. So if I am doing an outer V color as well, making it look, giving my eye some more depth, I'll also do that before I do the lid color. So lid always last. Yes, uh, cap up. If you store them cap down, 
I found that they dry out a little faster because there's like, I don't know, it's just not the way they're supposed to. Yes, works harder and hotter, there you go. Thank you, Judy. Yes, isn't this color like goals? It's one of my favorites. When I first started, this came in my kit. And so this was one of the first looks that I was like, uh-huh, I know how to do that. So if you want like a go-to look that you know is gonna look stunning every single time and that is super easy and really quick, grab the Spurge Cream Shadow in the shade Tenacious. It's, it's amazing. So now we're gonna reach in with our Spurge Cream Shadow Brush one more time. And now I'm gonna use this to really get it in those hard to reach places that our finger's too fat to get in. <laughs> because we always wanna make sure that our colors are coming down into the tear ducts or else it looks a little weird. But how pretty is this color? It really is a perfect fall color. I am a self-taught makeup artist. I went to the universe of YouTube <laughs> okay so now we're just gonna touch up this color making sure it looks really vibrant it looks really even it looks gorgeous and then i'm gonna take this brush this is the fluffy crease brush by unique i don't know if it's on the site i don't think it is i'm gonna grab gingerly on this one and i'm just gonna kind of touch up this outer v color because i want it to i do i do I want it to look a little more in depth. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna reach in with, uh, what colors are sure are good for dark brown hair and brown eyes. Purples, pinks are really pretty with darker eyes. It makes your eyes look lighter and pop. Um, Addiction Palette 3 looks really good on brown eyes. And any like champagne colors looks really good on uh, on light eyes so like victorious uh hopeful elegant in the spurge cream shadows look really pretty with darker eyes so now we're just gonna blend 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 with our blending brush where's that what is that hi jessica hi courtney all right okay and now let's just touch it up make sure everything looks good but see what i mean like if you were to do your crease before look how much we already lost uh, like the pigment from our lid color so now we're touching it up again but i would rather touch it up just a little than having to redo the whole you know what i mean okay so we're just going to pull down just like that and it's really going to soften this crease up just like so I know, isn't this so pretty? These are like worth every single penny. They really do go such a long way and you can use them with the pressed powders, you can use, or with the pressed eyeshadows, you can use them by themselves. They're so good. And I love that they don't crease. So if you do have like wrinkly, more wrinkles on your eyelids and you have struggle with your like eyeshadow kind of creasing or just not looking super smooth, these would be great. You, you have your costume on already? Uh, go away husband um no i didn't get microbladed i chickened out <laughs> chickened out um i did them a little more bolder maybe that's why all right so now let's make sure that everything looks super soft okay i am gonna take actually this liner brush I'm gonna grab gingerly and I'm gonna take it underneath the bottom lash line just give it more of a cohesive finished look I always think it looks a little odd when it's not because my residue on oh wow ouch I guess that's what microblading is kind of actually tattooing okay so we're just dragging this along the bottom lash line. It's just gonna bring everything kind of together, making it look a little bit finished. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna take the eyeliner in the shade Perfect, and this eyeliner is seriously the bee's knees. It doesn't smudge, it actually stays where you put it. It's only 15 bucks, I'm gonna sharpen it a little. 
comes in a bunch of colors and that this is another little tip for you guys if you have hooded eyes or smaller eyes and you want your eyes to look bigger use the shade pristine in the eyeliner it's uh it's white microblading is where they it long story short kind of it it's tattooing on your eyebrows pretty much it's not using a tattoo machine but it's similar to the idea of tattooing but it's way more natural it basically will look like this <laughs> not as dark um permanently how do you know what shadow brush to use for certain parts of the eye honestly it's all try on air everyone's eye shape is different um typically you'll want to use kind of something smaller for the outer v color something angled preferably for the crease you want to use something kind of fluffy something a little more tapered like the blending brush is amazing for that because it's fluffy it's tapered it's literally everything i just described for your lid you want something more dense like the deluxe brush by unique this is awesome too am i still frozen am i frozen um, after purchasing, the products will arrive in three to five business days. I typically get mine around four, I feel like. Sometimes sooner. There's been a time or two where it's come next day where I'm like, holy crap. Hello, Courtney. What does I, uh, so if you're putting a white eyeliner on, it's going to really like open up your eyes. So yeah, microblading is always an option, but honestly, the Brow Obsession palette <laughs> would be a lot less painful way to go. <laughs> not frozen. Frozen. <laughs> Am I frozen or not? Frozen, not frozen. All right, so now I'm taking the Epic Mascara on our lashes, and we're just using this kind of as a base. Um, it's going to kind of, I hate this word, moisten up our lashes. Who else hates that word? I just, I don't know why. I just don't like it. <laughs> so it's going to moisten up our lashes to really get the 3D fiber to cling even better. So now I'm going to take my 3D fiber mascara. Comes with two when you order it. So, or not two, but it comes with a gel and the fibers. And we're going to take the gel and we're going to apply this all over the lashes. Doesn't like the way my lips feel. Interesting. Yes, I love the lip stains. Um, you could try putting like a gloss over it to soften it. Dampen, that's better. <laughs> I know, everyone hates that word. I hate that word. It's like I fill in the powder if there's no um you'll use the wax. Um, the Obsession Brow Palette, I'll show you guys in one second, but it comes with the pomade, so that's what the powder's cling to. Alright, so now we're immediately going to go with the fibers, apply those on the mids and the ends of our lashes. And this is really going to cling to that gel, so we're going to give it a moment so it really clings on. Thank you. Um... While we come around this eye and do the same thing. So gel from the base of the lash all the way up. On the inner. Really just give a good coat. Both. You'll put the white eyeliner on both the top and the bottom. Just like so. Aw, oh, thanks Rebecca. Hi Tracy, and then immediately go in with the fibers, and I very lightly brush them on the fronts, and then I'll roll them on the backs of the lashes, just like that. And the 3D Fiber Mascara really curls your lashes. Hi from Ireland. All right, so now that we've waited a little while, now we can seal up those fibers with the gel. And it's totally your preference how many coats you do. I always do two coats because I love some dramatic lashes. So after we apply the gel, I'm gonna go back in with the fibers and just focus kind of on the tips. And like I said, it's all personal preference how many coats you wanna do. You don't have to do two, you can do one. You have long lash eyelashes, but you've never, but have you ever wanted to get lash extensions? Um, I have always thought about getting lash extensions, but honestly the upkeep of them 
the expense of them and just like having to be careful like washing your face not using oily products like all of those things just sound like way too much work <laughs> way too much work and thought so i just opted for unique's esteem lash serum you put it on every single night before bed and it literally makes your lashes grow like weeds so good enough for me because it's clearly working <laughs> Thank you, June. So how you keep the fibers without going in your eye. One, roll them on the back of your hand. That really helps. Two, apply them on the back side of your lashes rather than the front and stay away from the bottom of your lash line. You want to start in the mid to the ends. Happy Halloween. So now I'm going to take just the gel from the 3D Fire Mascara and we're going to pop this on the bottom lash line. And I love this 3D Fire Mascara because it will not smudge. It's water resistant. And it's a gel. It's not like an everyday mascara, so it's not going to run and give you those raccoon-looking eyes. So my girls that work outside or live where it's really humid love the 3D Fire Mascara. Unique did her eyes before her face. Is that just personal? Yeah, it's personal preference. I personally don't feel like I have to do that because, one, I use the Spurge Cream Shadow and that doesn't have any fallout. Um... But yeah, if you're super messy with your eyeshadow, just naturally, I would probably do it beforehand. Um, but I mean, I'm not that messy. I'm pretty careful with how I'm putting my, my, my makeup on. And the Unique products don't really have any fallout, so you don't have to worry about it. I love this look on you also the other day when you use the bronze brush eyeshadow. Ah, oh, thank you, Kim. Yes, I put the Epic Mascara on first. And then I'll end with the Epic Mascara. So begin and end. So now we're gonna take the gel and we're just gonna seal up that last coat of fibers to really make sure that they stay into place. And that's the other answer to that question. How do you keep the fibers in place? You want to make sure that you seal them with the gel when you're done. And you can always do multiple coats of the gel as well. If you're like, don't go anywhere, you can absolutely do more than one coat. Um, when you're putting your mascara on, a way to keep it off of your eyelid is look down. It's going to pull, it's going to make you have your eyelashes more outward. Also, don't look up after you're done doing it. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so now, like I said, we're going to do one last coat of Epic on top. Just for a little oomph. Oops. And if you do get it on your face like I just did, I'll show you how to get it off. But the first step on how to get it off is let it dry. Thank you, Linda. Okay, so let that dry. <laughs> All right, our eyes are finished. How fun is that? So bronzy, so kind of sultry, super easy to do. Okay, so in summary, I'll do the summary after actually. Okay, so now we're gonna do, I mean, at the end of the day, I have mascara streaks in my lashes to my upper. Oh, uh, hmm. Are you using the 3D Fire Mascara? Let it dry. Honestly, let it dry and look, don't do any crazy movements. <laughs> when you're spraying it, um, doing bottom lashes for yourself. Oh yeah, that's a good tip too. Yeah, try, I mean, with makeup, it's all trial and error. Like my tips might not work exactly for you. So, you know, try one thing and if it doesn't work, try another thing. But yes, the setting spray definitely helps keep it in place for sure. All right, so now we're gonna take the lip liner in the shade Plush. I love this lip liner so much. Super creamy, it's matte, it glides on, has an all day hold, and they're only $15. So we're gonna overdraw our lips ever so slightly with this. So basically you're just gonna start your line on top of where your lip, um, your natural lip line stops. All right, so it's so hard to talk all day in this, so bear with me here. <laughs> All right, and then top, I always start in the middle and then I'll just kind of pull this way. But I love this color. It's literally like an extension of my lips. And then you wanna follow the natural shape and bring it back down to meet the corners so you don't look like 
your five years old drawing on your lipstick. <laughs> this lip liner definitely makes it easy because it's so creamy. And then I just make sure everything looks even. So I'll kind of make different smiling motions in the mirror to make sure just everything looks even. Because once you line your lips, like, that's the deal. Alright, and then I'll just kind of fill in the sides a little. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so that was plush in the lip liner. You have a plum lips or your natural. No, I get injections like twice a year. Yes, plush is the best. Okay, so now we're gonna reach in with the Splash Look lipstick in the shade Stellar. It's essentially the same exact color as plush, which I love. Super creamy, so if you have dry lips like I do, this is like your BFF during the, during the winter time. This color in particular, I don't know why, but this color has an amazing hold. Like they all have a pretty good hold, but this one is like insanely amazing. Like eat a cheeseburger and you're good to go. Um, it's matte without being pulling and yeah, it's incredible. So less is more when you're using this, uh, the splash liquid lipstick. So kind of wipe off a lot of that product and then start in the middle. And like I said, less is more. I'll catch up on your comments in just one sec. Okay, tops. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I missed a lot of these. There's lip liner plush. Do I do makeup in front of the window? Yes, I always sit right here at my dining room table in front of a window. Uh, you only have to get them twice a year. I thought you had to get them more often. Um, it, every person's different with uh, lip injections. I do my makeup in the natural light. My room when I go into the bathroom it looks. Um, yellow from fluorescent lighting will make your makeup look different. Always sit in front of natural light. That's what you will actually look like. I mean, but I do have the same problem. If I don't wear eyeshadow, I'm, I make sure I use a lot of powder on my lips. Kimberly, what was your question again? I'm sorry. Lip color. This is stellar in the Splash Look lipstick. Do you like the powder? Yes, I really, I really do. The um, Crush lipsticks are amazing. Oh, no worries. Yeah, plush lip liner and stellar liquid lipstick right now. Okay, and then you want to take this all the way up to the lip liner. And then if you do need more, I literally just kind of grab whatever is left over on this tip area. But how fun is that color? It's kind of like a brownie nude. Move over, Kylie Jenner. My favorite Crush powder lipstick is the shade Casual. That one has a great hold and it's so pretty on. Uh, oh, thank you, Sammy. Okay, so like I said, if you do get mascara on your face, you're gonna let it dry and then you're gonna take like the swivelly, little spooly end of your, um, your brow pencil and you're literally going to just very light, like literally the lightest hand ever. Scrape it away. Gone. And you can always kind of touch it up. Touch, touch, touch it up. Alrighty. So excited. Yeah, you'll love it. Um, let me your teeth throughout the day. So a little lip trick um, without getting lipstick on your teeth. Take your finger and go like that. 
whatever is too close to the inside of your mouth, which would get on your lips, will come off. So you just want to pop. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley. You're so sweet. Um, hold my hair right side. So yeah, it'll totally work. Um, lip gloss. I'm not wearing any lip gloss today, but I am wearing the Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stellar. If I were to put a lip gloss on top of this, I'd probably do Lux. Okay, I think I caught up. If I missed your question, just ask it again. Okay, so the last thing I do is I spray. everything with <laughs> the touch bold setting spray this is going to make sure my makeup looks flawless all day long if i feel like there's a new dry areas i make sure i just spray it down this is i look so crazy right now with my hair um this is going to make everything stay in place it's going to give you that porcelain doll finish it's going to take away that makeupy look the powdery look it's going to literally just make everything look super flawless last all day long um, it's gonna help to keep that oil and that extra like the dryness at bay so this is literally like the saving grace but like I said if you do spray and you do have trouble with your mascara smearing no sudden movements <laughs> spray and just try not to let it you know a little tip for you it's really funny when I travel I always take a paper plate with me people are always like why is there a paper plate in your hotel room I use it to fan it's it will literally dry your setting spray in seconds. Yes, so my pre-makeup routine is super important. Um, I have really oily skin, like I'm an oil bucket if I don't do this. So I always, um, my nose is running, oh no. Yes, Stellar is the liquid lipstick. Um, I always spray my face down after I wash it with the Touch Bold Setting Spray, and then I'll go in with the Glorious Face Primer and apply that all over, and then I'll spray again with the setting spray this literally holds all of my oil at bay. Like it will not come through my foundation at all. If you're super dry that you can also use that technique. Um, but I love that pre makeup routine. So setting spray, primer, setting spray, makeup. Do you do videos on contouring? Um, I have a video on strictly contouring, but I do it in every single video. So I don't really make smaller videos anymore. Um, but after I get off, you can fast forward through this video on the replay. So if you do want to watch just the contouring part of this video, you can always um, watch on the replay and fast forward to that spot. Uh, you're so welcome. You will look so pretty in this lip color. All right, so just as a summary for my foundation, I'm wearing the... Uh, Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in the shade Lace, and then I mix it with the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer in the shade Honey. I am wearing, where are you? The Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza on my under eye. We set it with our Touch Bold Setting Powder, and then we applied our Touch Mineral Press Powder in the shade Taffeta all over to keep everything in a place. I use the Mineral Touch Press Powder in the shade Chenille for my contour. And then we did our Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa to warm up our complexion. I used the Pressed Blush in the, shade, in the shade Spirited for our blush today. Very subtle and really pretty. And then we did the Touch Them Illuminizer in the shade Lustrous for our highlight, super bronzy. On our eyes, <clears throat> I did the shade Gingerly and Astute in my crease, which are these two colors. And then we use the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Tenacious on our eyelid, like literally the easiest bronzy eye ever. You could even do it with your finger. Um, we did the 3D Fiber and Epic Mascara. We did the Lip Liner in the shade Plush. And then the uh, Splurge, not Splurge, the Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stellar for our lips. Amazing hold, matte, not pulling super pretty. And then we set it all with our touch bolt setting spray. Again, the collections are going to no longer be an additional 15% off at midnight tonight. So make sure you snag one of those, all of those. They're seriously such a good deal. If you're going to pick one, get the set to stun collection. It comes with so much of what I'm wearing right now. The foundation, the setting spray or the setting powder, the bronzer, the highlight, like so much of what I'm wearing. So make sure you snag the set to stun collection. Message me if you need to be color matched or if you have any questions um, or you need a good recommendation, make sure you shoot me a message. And then I'm gonna pop right back on to do my hair. So I will see you guys in like one minute on my um, blog page, Raya Hope. So if you wanna see a pixie tutorial, tune in over there. I'll see you guys in a moment.